So here we go, the moment of truth. Um, I highly doubt that a quijin is possible, but um, Thunder has decided to make a nest this year. And I, I, you know, it doesn't surprise me because typically pigeons will always have a nesting um, season. You know, they're any any pigeon at all. You know, with chickens and quail, they randomly go broody, but pigeons actually have a season, um, a nesting season, which is in spring. And so, um, you know, highly doubt that uh, any eggs that she may lay uh, <laughs> are fertile because she's the only pigeon. But I've heard of stranger things. You know, I've heard of uh, turkins and, um, you know, pigeon chickens and, like, crazy hybridized um, fowl. And fowl's kind of weird. Fowl can, um, almost any fowl, can interbreed with certain other species, but it's unknown really just how many different species they can intermingle with. And the further away you get, um, and, and that was one of our quail roosters crowing uh, in the background, I don't know if the camera caught that, but basically um, the further away you get from the other species being related to said um, whatever kind of fowl you have, you know, quail is a type of fowl, so technically, you know, they may be able to interbreed with things. I have found absolutely no answers about interbreeding with pigeons, um, quail and pigeons, but I have seen a lot of different um, crosses between chickens and other, other, um, you know, uh, especially other fowl. Um, the pigeon chicken cross, I don't even know if that's possible. I don't even know if that's real, but I have heard of, uh, you know, um, fisherman tail kind of stories, and some of them may have a little bit of truth to them, but there's, there's not much scientifically on, you know, what all a quail can potentially fertilize in, in terms of when you're getting to other species. So we're going to do this experiment and see if Thunder actually, um, if she does lay any eggs and if she actually hatches any, um, if during the time that she's, you know, gone broody, if, um, we do get any quail eggs, we'll give her a few, um, to see if she would want to, you know, raise some, some quail chicks. Uh, we might give her a few to incubate if, if they lay them in time, but I don't think they're going to lay them in time, judging on Thunder's already broody and the, and the quail hens have not started laying yet for the year, so I'm imagining it's probably not going to be in time for her to really raise anything. So, if they're not fertile, they're, they're a rooster goes, one of our rooster quail go again. If they're not fertile, um, we'll probably just end up after about two, three weeks taking the eggs up um, and kind of encouraging her to get off the nest and kind of um, break that broody cycle because if they're not going to hatch, you know, there's there's no point of her sitting on rotten eggs and we don't really have anything to give her. There's no, there's no good option. Um, if she refuses to get off and it's seasonal, it's hormone based by seasonal um, hormones, so I imagine once spring is over she's not going to care to make a nest, um, but for if she refuses to get off then we may buy some fertilized quail eggs if we don't have any ourselves. Um, but I don't think, if, you know, she's going to need that. I think, you know, it's, it's time, um, it's run by time, time of year, and unlike chickens and things, you know, that, that, that time of year, oh, there, she's got an egg, she does, <laughs> she does have an egg, so, um, at least one there, and she's very proud of it, um, but anyway, uh, it, it goes by time, so I think for, for pigeons, I'm assuming, um, once kind of that window of opportunity for, for nesting, once that nesting season is up, I think she'll probably just naturally give up. Um, that's what we're hoping, anyway. Uh, but if worse comes to worse, yes, we will give her something fertile to hatch and take care of. Um, 
I don't think we can find any pigeon eggs, but we can probably find some quail eggs. Well, thanks, Thunder. Thanks for showing us what's under you. I, I didn't think she was going to uh, be in a position where you could actually see what was underneath her. Um, so yeah, part one, we'll, we'll do uh, part two in a bit after we, um, you know, see whether or not these guys are fertile.